To leave your child with someone, even for a few hours, requires a lot of trust. While babysitters are usually very good with kids and trustworthy to say the least, bad things can and do still happen. In this list, we'll be showing you five of the worst babysitters in the world. We would like to give a big shout out to viewers Alia Karifel and Lee Aichi for suggesting this video. Number 5. Carl McClooney When Carl McClooney was only 15 years old, he was babysitting two-year-old Demi Lee Mayon for only an hour and a half while her mother ran some errands. A pretty easy task for a 15-year-old and nothing out of the ordinary. However, little did the mother know what Carl was capable of. He took two-year-old Demi to the park, then returned back home. At this point, Carl brutally beat Demi, bit her and shaved her head. When Demi's mother returned, she found her infant daughter barely alive in critical condition while Carl was casually watching TV. Demi was rushed to the hospitals where doctors confirmed she sustained severe brain damage and after two days on life support, she sadly passed away. Carl denied any wrongdoing and claimed the injuries were the result of her falling in the park. However, he did finally confess to the murder and receive 15 years due to his age. The only motive was simply because Demi was annoying him. Number 4. Michael Plumador When Michael Plumador agreed to look after his neighbour's three young daughters, things turned tragic. On December the 23rd, 2011, Aliana Lemon, one of the daughters being looked after by Plumador, went missing. Plumador played innocent, claiming she left his trailer and went back home. A few days passed and there was no sign of young Aliana. The FBI then got involved and finally Plumador confessed to the truth. The truth was more shocking than anyone could have ever imagined. Plumador beat Aliana to death with a brick. He then worked through the night cutting a body into bits with a hacksaw. He froze her head, hands and feet but disposed the rest of her body. There was no apparent motive for the murder and Plumador never gave one either. He received a life sentence, narrowly escaping the death sentence since he did plead guilty. Number 3. Elspita Plakowska In 2012, Elspita Plakowska was innocently looking after her friend's 5-year-old daughter Olivia along with her own 7-year-old son Justin. Nothing that sounds strange or worrying in any shape or form. That night she stabbed her son Justin 100 times and Olivia 50 times, killing them both. An extremely brutal murder where not only she killed someone else's daughter, but her own child too. When she was arrested and questioned, her story changed numerous times. At first she claimed a stranger broke in and stabbed them. Later she admitted to the killing because she believed the two children were possessed by the devil. Soon after she claimed she did it because the children had the evil of society within them. Her story changed again, this time it was voices in her head that told her to do it. The final change to her story was she killed her own son to get revenge on her husband, because he works as a truck driver and doesn't spend a lot of time with her. The reason she killed Olivia was because she was a witness. It's obvious she isn't stable in the head or maybe purposely changed the story to seem insane to avoid a heavy prison sentence. Whatever the case, one thing we can be sure of is she won't be walking free for a very long time. Number 2. Yoselin Ortega Yoselin Ortega was hired by the Krim family to look after their three children. When you hire a professional babysitter, you expect a professional service. The mother Marina Krim was taking her three-year-old son home from a swimming lesson when she made a horrific discovery. Her two other children, six-year-old Lucia and one-year-old Leo, were laying dead in a bathtub filled with bloody water. The two were stabbed to death by their 50-year-old babysitter, Yoselin Ortega. As soon as Marina entered the room, Ortega tried to commit suicide by slitting her wrists and began stabbing herself so violently that she pushed the kitchen knife she was using out the other side of her neck. Amazingly, she survived and is now standing trial for murder. There was no motive, but investigators believe she was stressed from trying to move her son to the US and because she didn't get a pay rise. Number 1. David McGreevy 
David McGreevy is nicknamed the monster of Worcester. With a nickname like that, you know whatever he did, it's going to be horrific. In 1973, when he was a young man, he was staying with the Ralph family in Worcester, England. One day in April, he was asked to babysit the family's three young children. The family clearly trusted David as he seemed like a perfectly nice young man. Instead, he gruesomely murdered the children, carried their bodies outside and impaled them on the garden railings out on display. He said he killed them because one of the children wouldn't stop crying. He was arrested the same day and sentenced to life in prison. He is still inside but currently battling the legal system to try and be released. Thank you for watching and if you have a video idea why not leave a comment below and if we make it we'll give you a big shout out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome daily lists of all things 5. This is all 5 and until next time, feed your mind.